this video we are going to see how to use the multi-cut tool in Maya. Let's just see how we are going to access the multi-cut tool. First is in the shells. Here is the multi-cut tool as you can see here. And now you can use the other way to access the multi-cut tool by going to the modeling toolkit here. Under tools you have the multi-cut. One more way is there to access the multi-cut but before that we will just create a cube. Now we are going to scale this a little bit and switch the grid off to get a clear view. Press shift and right click and now you can see the multi-cut tool is right over here. This is the fastest way to access the multi-cut tool. Now let's see how to use the multi-cut tool. First we are going to start with the left click. Let's see what left click can do. Now I can create left click and drag over an edge and place a vertex anywhere at this edge. And create another edge, I mean vertex on an edge and that will create an edge over here. So to exit the multi-cut after finishing a loop or an edge, you can always press the right mouse button and that will exit. Now it created a edge like that. And this is what uh, a left click would do normally. Now you can see a different combinations of what shift and left mouse button is going to do. I'm going to hold shift and then use the left mouse button to snap around an edge. It snaps according to how much percentage it's needed. 50 is half of this edge you can see. And I can do the same to other edge and create a loop that is very uniform. And I'm going to press right mouse button to exit the multi-cut. Now you can see this is a very clear uniform edge that is created using multi-cut by using the shift snap. If you want to create loops even more faster, there's a way where you can do. But before that, we will see how we can create normally a loop. So by holding control, I can, you know, move over or over the mouse across to create a loop anywhere you ne it's needed. You can always press the left mouse button to create a loop around an object or a polygon. But this is not actually uniform. As you can see that it is not snapping wherever we want and the edge distribution is kinda messed up. We can always uh, change that by you know holding the shift which is used for snapping the points. And I'm going to hold control and shift to just snap to the middle point here. Now you can see that I can clearly snap in between and create a nice edge distribution. This is a way to use the multi-cut using control and control shift and normally also we can create edge loops using the multi-cut. This is the way to create the loops in a more uniform way and this is the best way to do it by snapping the multi-cut edges using the control and shift. So is there any other way to use the multi-cut? There is. There's another way where you can add a different type of multi-cut. I mean it will add edge to your polygons but for that you have to hold your middle mouse button and then it will create a point like that. From there you can always you know cut and slice the object like that and that will create an edge. This is how you can use the multi-cut tool in different ways. This is the middle mouse button that will create a slice and using control you can add loops control shift to snap and shift to snap in between any points you want. These are the ways to use the multi-cut tool in a more efficient manner. I hope you like this video, give a thumbs up and share this channel so I will upload more contents like this. Thank you.